Okay guys, it has been over a week since I filmed Sea Monkeys and it may not seem that just because of the way these videos are uploaded, but it really has been. And I had some breeding pairs as you know, but they have split up since then because they were attached to each other for about three to five days. They really cling on to that one. Um, the males and females are still swimming around afterwards, but there has been a sudden decline in the male population. And whether that's because the females are all being bred with, the genes have been passed on, they're no longer needed, possibly. Um, but they certainly have gone through quite a decline lately. So it's really sad to see actually because you'll notice they'll swim a lot slower and they'll be at the bottom of the tank and then eventually they'll slow down and die. And although they're shrimp and although most people probably don't even care about them, they're my pets so, you know, it's a shame. However, I've been looking with my macro lens up close and I have seen this. These little black dots are babies and I'll be honest with you guys, I was very close to ending this series only because I thought, you know what, the numbers are dropping, we, we, they're not all dead yet, but I, don't, I didn't want to go out that the fact that we had to stop because we don't have any shrimp. But then I looked up close and I could not believe it, the next generation has already hatched out and I was not even aware of it. And there's tons, like when you look up close, they're so small it's hard to see, but when you look up close, they're everywhere. So I do put a tiny tiny bit of yeast in here although I don't want to like over murk up this water because um, it's already luminous green and there's a nice load of algae in there but I will add in a tiny tiny bit of yeast. I just use the easy bake yeast normal sort of stuff and only I only have to do a tiny amount because obviously yeast gets bigger in water so I'm just doing now just measuring some out Oh, well, that was probably too much. <laughs> Someone's caught in the lid. Okay, guys, it's been two days. As you can see, the water is teeming. Teeming, I tell you. <laughs> teeming with babies. Look at all of those little dots. I've moved the lights so they're all sort of come over here. But I did read that, like, when they hatch out, they need to be in a slightly more salty area than the adults. This may be why some of the adults are dying, um, but the babies are thriving. They really, really are. It's been two days since I last saw them, and it seems like the population has just gone up. Um, all the adults I've seen here seem to be females. There are a few young ones that could possibly turn in, out to be males. But um, so far, it seems like mainly females and lots lots of babies right so as I've described before this is what happens when they die so they continue to look like they're swimming but they're at the bottom of the tank and they're not really moving anywhere now I I genuinely find this sad like I don't like to see any animal die even if it is a little shrimp but this is just what happens and clearly she's you know she's reproduced she's done her thing in life and now she has to die now what I figured I would do, you see that little baby moving there? Yeah. Um, what I thought I'd do is leave the camera on her, see if she lays any eggs. Now, as I said, this is still sad, even though it's a little shrimp, but we may see new life pop out of her. So let's go ahead and leave the camera on her. Right, so it's later on in the day and I've just moved the lamp to the side. One thing I've always noticed when I turn off the lamp at night, as soon as you turn it off, all the shrimp do this weird wiggle thing. So I always feel bad turning it off, so sometimes I lower it down the side a bit like the sun. <laughs> I know, it's, it's a bit weird. Anyway, um, one thing the light does do is it attracts the shrimp and so far by doing this we can actually get the population over here because they're like, attracted to the light. And unfortunately, it seems like in terms of like adults and sort of 
young sea monkeys. There's about four. Four left in here. There's the female we were looking at earlier. She's still on the floor of the other side. And there's two other ones that have been down on the floor quite a bit. One good thing is that, once again, when the light's on the side, there's just hundreds of babies. Tiny babies from here you can't see, but up close you can. And that just makes me think that maybe this water is better suited for the babies raising babies. Because they seem to be doing really well, even though the adults aren't. But, um, yeah. I sort of always knew this was going to happen, that, you you know, we're going to lose quite a few shrimp. But it seems like they've done their job in life and they have sort of reproduced. So, that's all good. I've yet to actually see an egg come out. Um, th but this is the thing. This is how I think a lot of them lay their eggs. And... It would be easier to take her out of the water and just let her die really quickly, but then maybe they have to do this in order for there to be a new life. So, this may just be the way they need to lay their eggs. So, this, I think, is the sea monkey we were looking at yesterday. It's already gone black, that's kind of normal for them to go like that as they're decomposing. However, I can still see like the pink egg sac. But the eggs aren't as defined, so once again, I don't know if they turn to mush, or if they're released, or if actually sea monkeys have hatched out of them. I'm really not sure. The plot thickens. It really, really does. Mm -hmm.